Welcome to HowToAV.TV. Today we're looking at 100 volt line audio and explaining where it would be used and why. <laughs> 100 volt line audio is mainly used in public address and low level background music systems. It simplifies the installation of multiple speakers and allows the audio to be sent over longer distances with a smaller gauge cable compared with low impedance music amplifiers used in a hi-fi or foreground and live performance music systems. A 100 volt line audio system can also be referred to as a constant voltage or a high impedance system. When you're in an office block, waiting for a flight at the airport or at an outdoor event and you hear a paging announcement, it will probably be through a 100 volt line audio system. For a 100 volt system, you'll need a suitable public address amplifier and speakers that have a transformer fitted. As 100 volt line PA systems are commonly used, these are readily available. Microphones and music sources such as CD players and MP3 players will easily connect into the amplifier and require no modification or extra equipment. You'll need to select an amplifier that has the correct number of audio inputs that you need. Each audio source requires its own input. Then choose the amount and the type of speakers that you want to install. Speakers often have a choice of power settings to choose from and these are called tappings or taps. Choose whichever is the most appropriate for your job. The higher the tap, the louder the sound is from the speaker. It makes sense to use the lowest possible tap for your installation. As an example, a ceiling speaker might have a 6 watt, a 3 watt and a 1.5 watt tap. You can have twice as many speakers on a 3 watt tap as you can if you'd use the 6 watt tap on all of your speakers. You can combine different types and power ratings of speakers dependent on the room size, sound levels needed and the environment it's installed into. They don't all have to be the same speakers. Add up the wattage of your speakers and pick an amplifier that exceeds the load of the speakers and has the number of audio inputs that you need. When it comes to wiring up the speakers, they can all be connected in parallel and daisy chained together without worrying about the impedance of the system. There's no messing around with series and parallel wiring to match the amplifier on a 100 volt line audio system. You can go speaker to speaker or even star wire from a central point. The golden rule is that the combined speaker wattage of all the speakers in the system should not exceed the output wattage of the amplifier. When selecting the type of loudspeaker cable, remember that the system is running at a high voltage and impedance and therefore the electrical current flowing in the speaker cable is very low. An office PA system with perhaps 20 6 watt ceiling speakers will only need 0.5mm twin speaker cable and the speakers can be up to 130 metres away from the amplifier. So that's 100 volt line audio, an ideal solution for commercial PA systems and large scale background music. If you like more information or advice on your next PA system project, then How to AV are the go to team. Our experts in audio system architecture consult and design many of the UK's largest and most complex professional PA systems. So contact them on the number shown now. There's plenty more free advice online, so don't forget to join us by clicking the YouTube subscribe button or leave us a question in the comments section below.